In the late evening of August 5th, we lost a fine and generous man, a husband, father, brother, son-in-law, brother-in-law, uncle, friend, mentor, and colleague. Our world would be smaller without Ron Johnson, but we should take today as a tribute to him and to acknowledge and value what he stood for and know that we can continue to be guided by his wisdom in the future. A memory that I will hold very close to my heart also comes from Ballfest, when during the Friday Night Cabaret, the band, Satori Life, played Lean On Me. I went over to my dad and he put his arm around me. I could always lean on him. I remember golfing with him and he would bounce from very, very happy in a round. You know, those rounds where it's smooth sailing, you're not waiting on shots and he's playing well, to very, very cranky. The rounds where you have to wait on every shot and he's going to go out and shoot 85 and he's just absolutely in stitches. He get, would get so angry. I remember him nagging me about my swing and then getting mad at me when I didn't appreciate the in-round lessons. The most important thing my dad taught me though was how to just let go and laugh. Ron will always be remembered for, I think has been mentioned before, his booming laugh, his unbridled enthusiasm for whatever his current endeavor, his passion for his friends, and his unabashed pride in his family. He was a man with so much on the go, he had always found a way to make time for the people and activities that are important to him. This was the man who shared his banana split Sundays with me and indulged in my every whim. This was the man who would sit and count my pirouettes as I danced around the living room after ballet class. This was the man who would wait patiently at night to drive me to a friend's house while I changed my outfit a hundred times and who would, not so patiently mind you, drive around the city looking for the house when I didn't have the address. This is the man who would say yes to me when my mom had already said no. When does an individual as busy as Ron have time for his family and his community? It's hard to imagine. More hours than 24 in a day for Ron. That's not what made Ron my dad. What made Ron my dad was the fact that if I needed him at 3 in the morning, he would be there. He might yell at me later, but he would be there. If I missed a bus and needed a ride home from work, he would drive back downtown to get me. He would grumble the whole way, but he would do it. If I needed something at the store, he would go pick it up without asking a question. I can honestly stand here and tell you that I cannot remember an instance where I asked him to do something for me and he said no. That is what made Ron my dad. And I can only hope that I can do it as well as he did. What always struck me about Ron is that he was such a fantastic father and mentor. I could only envy the rapport that he had with his children and their friends. It is obvious to me that he was such a role model, not only for his children, but his nephews and nieces. I often thought Ron exemplified what a father could and should be. Dad is a mentor and a rock for so many. He has made an impact and touched the lives of countless people. He had a unique way of helping people and always went above and beyond to do so. Throughout his life, he made efforts towards the betterment of the people around him and to people he didn't even know. Ron was a man who recognized that all aspects of life were equally important. Above all though, what my dad showed me is to love with an open heart. He showed me to be great and generous and also tender and compassionate.
somebody to leave. We mostly sang and swayed, but I would consider this the last dance I had with my dad. I'm honored to be my dad's daughter and have the opportunity with the rest of my family to carry on his legacy.